first look at MIUI 11 port based on Android 10 running on the Xiaomi POCO F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at MIUI 11 port based on Android 10 running on the Xiaomi POCO F1. Now, how do you install this port on your POCO F1? I have a separate video for that, which is linked in the description of this video. And it will also pop up as a card on the top right of your screen. So this is how the port comes out of the box. Do note, this is a port of Xiaomi EU and this is a Frankenstein build wherein the system is from Xiaomi Mi 8 and the vendor is from Mi Mix 2S for those of you who know what I am talking about. A good part about this port is that you have Google Apps baked in which means you have Play Store already installed and you can just sign into your Google account and download Gmail, Google Contacts and whatever other Google Apps you want to use. If you want to root you can of course root it using Magisk and as you can see safety net is also passing successfully and in case you want to install Google camera Google camera 6.2 and Google camera 7.0 both work absolutely fine on this port I have linked them in the description of this video and also mentioned them in the pinned comment we'll go into settings and we can start with lock screen in lock screen you have sleep so after how many minutes or seconds you want the device to go to sleep then raise to wake and double tap to wake so we can check double tap to wake turn the device off double tap bam working like a boss back into settings and lock screen you also have tap the fingerprint sensor to wake now for this particular build those of you peeps who have the fpc fingerprint module the fingerprint scanner is not working right now however if there is a patch released it will be mentioned in the pinned comment then you have wake lock screen for notifications smart cover mode power menu access quick settings access and wallpapers lock screen owner info lock screen clock format you can choose between the three formats which we have and if you want to launch the camera using double press of the power button next up we have display in display you have brightness so automatic brightness is working absolutely fine as is night mode brightness what is broken right now is reading mode however i am pretty hopeful that it will be fixed down the line then you have color scheme in color scheme you can choose between three options default warm and cool in default you can choose auto saturated and standard same applies for warm and same applies for cool as well then you have anti flicker mode dark mode enable it working like a boss and you can also enable the toggle for global dark mode wherein all applications such as instagram which do not have an explicit dark mode toggle will also turn into dark mode then you have system font you have the roboto font installed by default you can customize your text size and font weight what you want to do when the device is connected to vr then you have customization for the notch and status bar if you click on hide notch you can choose between three options don't hide hide and move the status bar and hide without moving the status bar if you want to configure your notch in specific applications you have that option as well so if you click on an application you can say choose between auto and always show the notch in case of auto the hide notch setting will be used then you have customizations for the status bar if you want to show icons for incoming notifications or not then use apps for notifications show LTE icon instead of 4G show connection speed show the carrier when device is locked if you want to edit the carrier name in the status bar you can do that as well if you want to see the weather in the notification shade you can customize that customization for your battery indicator you can choose between these three options then the notification shade shortcut whether you want to open settings or you want to open the search what is the quick settings layout you're looking for default or compact and collapse after touch then in display you have full screen mode so you can choose what all apps will work in full screen mode and what all apps are optimized for full screen mode and you have a toggle for auto rotate screen next is sound and vibration in sound and vibration you can customize your phone ringtone alarm sound events and notifications and you do have a new ui for 
all these options then if you want to configure your do not disturb and you also have the new looking sliders for calls alarm volume and music and games media volume if you want vibration for calls you have a toggle for that vibrate in silent mode vibrate and tap you can configure the intensity of vibration you have all these different options then we do have an option for profile video for incoming calls this is something which Xiaomi has added with MIUI 11 and you can choose a video which will be played when you receive an incoming call in additional settings you can customize the default volume control stream whether you want dial pad tones or not tap sounds screen lock sounds charging sounds and vibrations unmute sound screenshot sound and delete sound so you can configure all of these using the toggles and in earphones you can customize what kind of earphones do you have and you can also customize what actions you perform with the earphone remote buttons then we have notifications in notifications you have three different options on top so lock screen notifications you can customize your lock screen notifications whether you want to see the notification content or not or you do not want to see any notifications on the lock screen then you can configure lock screen notifications from all the applications which are installed on a per app basis using the toggles provided the same is applicable for floating notifications and notification badges as well if you click on notification shade you have the toggle for expand top notification and you can also choose your notification style whether you want Xiaomi's MIUI notification style or you want the default Android notification style and you can also sort your notifications by time received number of notifications received apps that can show notifications and app that cannot show notifications then we have customization for the home screen so you can configure your default launcher if you install a third party launcher then what is the home screen style you're looking for regular or with application drawer minus one screen option is to determine what you want to see when you swipe towards the right from your home screen right now it is set to app vault let me set it to google go to the home screen and swipe and bam there it is you can see that it opened up my google feed then you have customization for the app drawer which will be enabled if you choose your home screen as an application drawer then you also have a toggle for swipe up on home screen to open search so it is enabled and i swiped up it opened up the search application if you do not want this functionality you can always turn it off double tap to lock the screen you have a toggle for that fill cells of uninstalled applications shake to fill empty cells lock home screen layout in case you want to lock the layout of your home screen what are the number of rows and columns for your home screen layout you can choose between these different options and what is the icon size you're looking for you have various options for that as well if you want to see the memory status in the recents if you want to blur app reviews you click on the option and you can select the applications for which you want to blur the app reviews in your recents and if you want to see suggestions in your recents then you have wallpaper you can customize your wallpapers you can also choose between four different video wallpapers and i'm pretty sure you can download more video wallpapers from xiaomi's store if you want to then you have password and security so face unlock is working absolutely fine password also works absolutely fine and as i mentioned earlier fingerprint scanner is broken for fpc users it does however work with goodx fingerprint scanner now how do you know which fingerprint scanner do you have you can download an application called device hardware info from the play store and it will show you what fingerprint scanner you have then you have battery and performance in battery and performance you have battery saver and you also have ultra battery saver mode and once you click on ok this is what it's going to do it is going to turn your phone into basically a phone that is you'll be able to make and receive calls messages and that's about it nothing much or nothing other than that your social media and all those things will be cut off if you want to exit it you need to tap on the top right and it will turn off your ultra battery saver mode in case you want to see your battery usage stats you have the option for that as well which will show you your screen on time then you have the option of configuring automatic power on and power off and if you want any automated tasks you can configure that as well say you want to put your phone into airplane mode from a specific time or if you want to turn on silent mode and you know edit the screen brightness when the battery reaches 20% you can configure that as well using the 
toggle then you have apps in apps you can configure your system app settings you can also uninstall application from manage apps you can configure your permissions you can configure dual applications and in case you want to lock certain applications you can do that using app lock then we have additional settings in additional settings you can configure your date and time and you can also configure your languages and input you do have different languages available so this is a multi-language rom you also have full screen display so from here in you can enable Xiaomi's gestures you of course do not have Android 10 gestures but I personally think that Xiaomi's gesture implementation is better than what Google has done with Android 10 and if you want to use the old school buttons you also have the option to mirror the back and recent option if you want to then in additional settings you also have button shortcuts so if you want to assign a shortcut to say launch the camera or you want three finger screenshot you can do that from here and you also have other options to say turn on the torch turn off the screen you can configure shortcuts for all of those options which you saw on that screen you also have the option of configuring the notification light you have quick ball one-handed mode and accessibility then we have screen time this is something which is a replica or Xiaomi's own implementation of digital well-being which they have baked into MIUI 11 in special features you have game turbo quick reply second space and MIUI labs other than that you have your regular options for signing into your me account your Google account and you can also configure your accounts and sync as for the benchmark scores these are the benchmark scores which I got on this build however as I always say do not judge a ROM by its benchmark scores because benchmark scores are never a true reflection of the ROM. So that was our first look at MIUI 11 port based on Android 10 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. And that will do it for this video peeps. I hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.